Today's episode, we compare beautiful Havapu with Havapu and look at their differences and similarities. So, let's start with grooming and brushing difference. Regular grooming is required by the thick coat of Havapu. Every week, brushing times prevents tangles and mats. The Havanese Poodle Mix has a hypoallergenic non-shedding coat that won't require much maintenance. Brush the Havanese Poodle Mix dogs at least 2 to 3 times every week to prevent tangling. Clip the nails and wipe its eyes and ears to avoid infection. On other side, the grooming of Kavapu is also one of the more challenging part of caring of this lovable breed. Their coat is prone to mating if it is not cared for properly. Lots of first-time owners find it hard to learn how to groom their coat, so they pay for a professional groomer. If you do decide to get them groomed, you will need to take them once or twice a month. Using a slicker brush for a brushing sessions will be the best for this breed curly coat. It will also help to keep their coat clipped short in either a teddy bear or puppy cut. Number 2. Appearance Difference The Havanese is crossed with either a miniature poodle or a toy poodle to create the Havapu, and therefore these dogs are small. Normally, they stand between 8 to 15 inches in height and can weigh between 7 to 20 pounds. On other side, Kavapu is a cross between the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and a Poodle Dog breed. These dogs can stand between 9 to 14 inches tall and weigh between 7 to 18 pounds. Number 3. Coat Difference There are three different coat types that this Kavapu could have. These are hair, fleece and wool. Fleece coats are most common and they have a loose wave or curl to them. They are very soft to touch and do not shed much. They are also low maintenance and only require clipping from time to time. Wool coats are also low shedding coats and have tight curls. Due to these tight curls, they trap dander, which makes them the best coat type for those with allergies. However, these coats do grow, so they also require daily brushing and regular clipping. And hair coats can be wiry and rough which can give the Kavapu a terrier look. These coats shed the most out of all three but also require the least amount of grooming because they don't grow as much. On other side, the Havapu coat will depend on parent breed. The Havanese has a long silky coat while the Poodle has a tight curly coat. The Havapu coat can vary greatly from breed to breed. If they inherit the Poodle coat, then they may be hypoallergenic and great for those who have allergies. Number 4. Temperament and Behavior Difference the Havapu dogs have an excellent temperament, loving and friendly. These dogs just want to be around people and to show them affection suited to everyone. The Havapu will just want to spend their days by your side. Unfortunately, because they love people so much, they don't like to be left alone. Leaving them alone can result in separation anxiety. So, this is something to think about if you are often out for horse at a time. On other side, the Kavapu has a gentle and loving temperament. They enjoy being around people and are content to spend the day watching the world fly by with you. Because this breed is a mix you cannot guarantee their temperament. However, you hope they inherit the Poodle's intelligence and Cavalier King Charles Spaniel kindness. This hybrid is playful, but not to the point of being overly energetic. The Kavapus enjoy playing fetch a war, but they only initiate play when they are bored or have not been exercised. Again because this is a mix each one is different. Some are relaxed like the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel parent while others are a bit more athletic like the Poodle parent. Number 6. Training Difference Training Havanese and Poodle mix is relatively easy. The both Havanese and Poodle are highly intelligent breeds and learn quickly. They pick up potty training quickly and will learn a consistent routine within few weeks. On other side, the Kavapu is also a very trainable dog, which is what makes them a such a great first pets. The entire family can help train these pups and it is fun activity to get involved in. The Kavapu responds best to positive reinforcement training and reward based training. This includes verbal praise and treats. Never get angry or shout at your Kavapu. They will not understand and they can develop anxiety and fear, which can prevent them from ever learning. Number 7. Food and Diet 
Cavapoo dogs are a small breed and therefore they require around 40 carries of food per pound of body weight a day. This equates to between 300 to 600 carries per day. On other side, the Havapu is also a small dog, so they don't require much food. As an adult, they will need roughly 40 carries per pound of body weight. Of course, you should always double check the back of the food packet to see the exact amount of certain food you should be feeding your dog based on their weight. Number 7. Health Issues while crossbreeding the Havanese with the Poodle certainly help to remove some health problems these dogs face. Havapoos prone to patella relaxation, cataracts, hypothyroidism, and hip dysplasia. On other side, the most common health concerns Cavapoo face is patella relaxation, mitral valve disease, progressive retinal atrophy, and hip dysplasia. Number 8. Exercise Difference Havapoo has high energy levels. These dogs need roughly 60 minutes of exercise a day. This is thanks to their poodle parents working in nature. The Havapoo loves to be out exercising and will happily accompany you on hikes and runs, making them a great exercise buddy. They don't need a lot of space, such as a backyard for exercise, but will love to walk in the park where they are socialized with other dogs. If they are little hour friendly, it is a good idea to keep them on a leash when you are out in public. On other side, the Kapu is a gentle dog, but they can still take after their poodle parent. This means that they still love to run and play. The Kapu needs around 30 to 60 minutes of exercising every day. This can be a trip to the park or even just running around your back garden. Afterwards, they will be more than happy to lay on the couch or watch TV with you. Number 9. Lifespan Difference the Havapu has a relatively long lifespan and they can live on average 10 to 15 years. On other side, the life expectancy of Havapu is 10 to 14 years.